Himmel was a true hero. He was the brave leader of a group that fought the mighty Demon King. With his blue hair and clothes, he stood out not just in looks but also in his actions. But Himmel wasn't just a hero to everyone. He was special to Freeran. When Himmel was just a young boy, he got lost in a forest. It was Freeran who helped him find his way back home. To thank her, he asked her to join his group of adventurers. As they spent time together, it was clear that Himmel had feelings for Freeran. But he never really told her how he felt. Maybe he was shy, or maybe he thought she wouldn't feel the same way. Their journey together was filled with adventures, fun, and challenges. But like all good things, it came to an end. Fifty years after their big adventure, Himmel's life came to a close. Just before he passed away, Freeran took him to see a beautiful meteor shower. His death was a big shock to Freeran. She felt a deep sadness for not getting to know him better and decided to go on a new journey. This time, she wanted to learn more about humans and their feelings. In short, Himmel was not just a hero because of his battles. He was a hero because of his kind heart, his leadership, and the love and friendship he shared with Freeran. Let's dive deeper into what made him so special. Himmel had what some might call a chronic hero syndrome. This means he always felt the need to help those in trouble. He couldn't ignore someone in need. It's like he had a built-in radar for people who needed a hero. Himmel wasn't just about fighting and winning. He cared about everyone, even the common folk. He believed in peace and tried to solve problems through talking and understanding. But when demons showed they couldn't live peacefully with humans, he knew he had to act. Himmel was the perfect example of a knight in shining armor. But instead of shiny silver, he was all about blue. His blue hair, blue clothes, and even his love for blue flowers showed his deep connection to the sky and heaven. This blue theme wasn't just for show, it represented his pure heart and noble spirit. Himmel believed that even a journey filled with danger could be fun. He made sure that their adventures were enjoyable, making him fun personified. This positive attitude was infectious. His team members, inspired by his contagious heroism, also became more heroic and kind-hearted. Everything about Himmel screamed blue. It wasn't just a color for him, it was F a symbol. Blue represented his kind nature, his connection to the sky, and his heavenly spirit. Even his name, which means sky or heaven in German, was a nod to this theme. Himmel was a unique blend of bravery, kindness, and fun. He wasn't just a leader, he was a friend, an inspiration, and the heart of the team. His blue motif, his unwavering spirit, and his infectious positivity made him unforgettable to all who knew him. Himmel's relationships, especially with Freeran, were deep and meaningful. Let's explore these bonds that defined him. When Himmel was just a child, he lost his way in a forest. It was Freeran who came to his rescue, guiding him back to safety. This act of kindness left a lasting impression on Himmel. In gratitude, he invited her to join his party, marking the beginning of their long journey together. Himmel's relationship with Freeran was layered with emotions. While it was clear he had feelings for her, he never truly expressed them. Freeran, with her long lifespan, saw their time together as a brief moment, while for Himmel, it was a significant part of his life. Himmel's feelings for Freeran were evident, but whether they were reciprocated remains a mystery. He became the lost Lenore in Freeran's life, a constant presence even after his passing. His memory served as a driving force for Freeran, pushing her to understand humans and their fleeting lives better. Before meeting Himmel, Freeran was distant and detached from human emotions. However, Himmel's influence transformed her. He became her morality pet, making her realize the depth of human emotions. His death was a turning point for Freeran, marking the first time she genuinely grieved for a human. While their love story remains ambiguous, the bond between Himmel and Freeran was undeniable. They cared deeply for each other, and their relationship was filled with moments of tenderness and understanding. Whether they were in love or just close friends, their connection was the heart of their journey. Himmel's life was a beacon of hope and inspiration, and even in death, his legacy continued to shape the world and the lives of those who knew him. Himmel's passing was a significant event that set Freeran on a new path. His death made her realize the fleeting nature of human life prompting her to embark on a journey to understand humanity better. In essence, his demise was the spark that ignited Freeran's quest for deeper understanding. Himmel might not have been the prophesied hero, as he couldn't pull the hero's blade from the stone. However, this didn't deter him. He still rose to the challenge and defeated the Demon King, 
proving that destiny isn't always set in stone. His actions demonstrated that with determination and a good heart, anyone can leave a mark on history. Even though Himmel passed away in the story's beginning, his presence is felt throughout the series. Freerin constantly remembers him, reflecting on their shared memories and the lessons she learned from him. This present absence serves as a nod to Himmel's profound impact on her life and the narrative. Himmel's actions and beliefs inspired many. He wasn't just a hero in battles. He was a beacon of hope, kindness, and determination. His influence encouraged others to rise to the occasion and become heroes in their own right, showcasing the ripple effect one person's life can have on the world.